Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to the Kwaipu video series. And in this part, we'll be talking about working with pop-up windows in Kwaipu. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 2 and 3 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Selenium vs Kwaipu once again. To work with the pop-up windows in Selenium, we used to identify the pop-up window which is opened and pass the window name using the driver.getWindowHandles method. And this getWindowsHandle method actually is going to return you a collection of windows which is already available and then you will be iterating through a for each loop or for loop and then you pass the handle which is available which is already open or something like that. But if you really know the name of the window, then you will just use the driver.switch2.window.windowNames. Whereas in Kwaipu, it is pretty easy. You can directly flip to the pop-up window with the browser session.findWindow method. And you can pass the name of the window using this method itself, the findWindow method. So if it is not really going to make any sense, let me flip to Visual Studio and show you the real code. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. Alright, so this is the same code which we were working in our part 2 and part 3. So I'm not really going to go to the details of these methods once again. Rather, I'm going to copy some of the lines of course which are really going to help us to perform some of the operation while working with the pop-up controls. So I'm going to first log into my application, right? So for that I need to write the same code once again. So for that I'm going to copy my previous codes. I'm going to copy this course and I'm going to quickly write a method here. Let's write a method called public void test popup. And once we do a login in our application, and as you can see, we land into this user form page. And here there is a hyperlink called HTML popup. So if you click this HTML popup hyperlink, you will get a popup window. And that's the name of the window. And then you have some controls to perform the operation. So we're going to do exactly the same thing this time. So let me close this window and the first operation once we land into this page is to click this HTML pop-up hyperlink. I'm going to do like this browser dot and again there is no specific or very very generic click method in our Kwaipu. Rather there is a method for clicking a hyperlink which is nothing but click link and again it's DSL. So click link of HTML pop-up. Great. And once the window is open, we need to switch to that window. That's what we do in our Selenium. But here we don't really have to do all of this. If you know the name of the window, just pass in that. Of course, you can do that in Selenium. But again, that's a kind of pain in butt. But here it is pretty simple. All you're going to do is to find the window and then you need to pass the name of the window. So let's do like this. Var pop-up is equal to, oops, browser dot find window and here you have to pass the name of the window so I'm gonna pass the name of the window as pop-up window and copy paste some of the codes that we have already written because I know that the object names are pretty same like before that we did in our fill user form page so I'm gonna copy that method and basically I'm going to paste them here and instead of browser I'm going to use pop-up this time and let's try to run this test all right it opened the browser it clicked with the pop-up and it filled the controls value so which is great so you have easily switch to the browser using a very very simple find window method and the name of the window and then you can perform the same operation using the pop-up which is nothing but the browser windows object right so this is how you can work with your pop-up so once you enter these details you again need to flip back to your actual window which is nothing but your parent window so you need to fall back to that parent window once you close this window so for closing this window, we actually don't have a method even in Kwaipu to perform the operation of closing the model window that you are seeing here. So for that, we have a JavaScript method called self.close. So I'm going to use that method this time. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to execute some of the JavaScript. So for executing a JavaScript in Selenium, we have a method or an interface called I JavaScript executor. And within that interface, we have a method called execute uh, JavaScript or execute a sync script, something like that. But again, we have to write a separate wrapper for the Selenium and then perform the operation in our classical or legacy Selenium. But in Kwaipu, what we can do is we can easily do that using a method called execute script. And this is going to execute a custom JavaScript in the browser. So I'm going to call this guy. And here I'm going to pass a very, very simple JavaScript called self.close, which means it's going to close the window. So the pop up is actually the window and we are saying self.close so window that we have should be closed great so close the window and once the window is closed and now once the window is closed I'm expecting it to type the value for the initial and first name so let's copy these two lines of code and I'm gonna paste it right here So I'm going to save it and see, I'm not again switching back here anywhere. I'm just doing like this. So for switching back, what I should do, I should once again call find window method, right? So that's pretty important. So fall back to parent window, which is obvious in both Selenium and Kwaipu. There is no difference. Browser dot find window. And I know the window name of my parent, which is nothing but execute automation so let's quickly run this test and see if it really works so I'm gonna run the selected test and I'm gonna close the existing browser so my expectation is this I need to log into the application and then I should open the pop-up window fill in the details and close the pop-up window and then fill in the initial and first name in the parent window once again all right it's filling in the details and you can see that it performed all the operation so this is how you can perform some of the operation in the pop-up window using Kwaipu using very very simple DSL methods available within itself so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day